नमस्कार लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट ए एम एच वॉट इज ए एम एच ए एम एच फुल फॉर्म ऑफ ए एम एच इज एंटी मलेरियन हॉर्मोन इट्स अ ब्लड टेस्ट इट इज डन टू इवेल्युएट द रिजर्व कैपेसिटी ऑफ एन ओवरी नाउ वॉट इज अ रिजर्व कैपेसिटी ऑफ एन ओवरी एवरी ओवरी हैज अ कैपेसिटी टू प्रोड्यूस एग्स नॉर्मली physiologically only one egg becomes a full fledged egg ruptures and then disappears but before that one egg is produced there are quite a few eggs which are recruited and those recruited eggs are called preenteral follicles and from those preenteral follicles a few go further which are called enteral follicles and from those enteral follicle this one follicle is selected which becomes what is called a dominant follicle now this preenteral and enteral follicles secrete a hormone which is called amh and if we evaluate the amh we will know that these are the preenteral and enteral follicles which are there in the ovary which indirectly shows the capacity of that ovary to produce the number of eggs and the reserve capacity of the ovary to produce the number of eggs in future so that is where we test amh the beauty of this test is this test can be done any time of the cycle any time of the day with empty stomach after food or whatever it's a robust test and it's independent of anything which can affect the results of the test and that's where it is very reliable and more commonly used now we need to understand what is preenteral enteral follicles when a female is actually a fetus in the uterus of her own mother her ovaries are generated or produced or created now these ovaries continuously have atresia of the follicles when she is born as a child about 3 to 5 lakhs of eggs are still remaining in her ovary and in her fertile period total fertile period she uses about 400 to 450 rest of them keep on becoming atresic over a period of time after the menarche means the bleeding or period starts she starts producing eggs and that is where it is important for us to understand that what is the capacity of the ovary left to produce the children or the eggs in other words this is called the reserve capacity and it's a very important parameter to evaluate the fertility potential of the woman now then it the question is what is the normal level of amh now this is comparatively a new test because of the ethnic variation there is huge variation in amh results and that is where we have to also understand that we are staying in india or asia and we have to consider amh limits proportionate to what we should be expecting for an ideal fertility but by and large the general consensus is that if your amh is nearer to 3 then it is good even high amh is not good so if you are having 6 or more the amh can be 12 15 even 20 20 plus then again it's not a good sign and if your amh is less than 2 less than 1.5 or whatever less is also showing that the reserve capacity of the ovary is reduced the amh can be 1.5 0.05 0.03 1.01 that does not mean that ovary does not have capacity to produce the eggs but it's the reserve capacity of the ovary or the fertility potential of the ovary is dramatically reduced so this is the understanding of amh i would wish that you continue to watch other videos on amh where we'll be talking about if there is low amh what should be done if there is low amh how to conceive naturally if there is low amh how treatment is going to occur if there is high amh what is the implication of amh how we can improve amh etc so i'll be talking to you about those subjects in my future videos so please watch as per what is relevant to you thank you so much dhanyawad namaskar